fans of high quality entertainment. Now, this is a new series I've decided to start, and thanks for the response in my previous video about it. So I'm going to mention an artist that I absolutely love, some known, some not that well known. And I've made up a Spotify playlist with five songs from each of these artists. I'll just do one artist per video, maybe once, twice a week. And so the link should be in the uh, description below for it. And you can also, if you don't want to use Spotify, you can also just type it in in YouTube. Uh, I was going to go on a long history thing about this particular artist, but I'll just say I always liked some of her music and other music of hers I hated. But that's totally changed. Uh, and this isn't a comedy video, by the way. I know some of you are, might be thinking, he's joking, isn't he? I'm not. I am now a huge fan, and I hope somebody out there becomes one too, of Yoko Ono. Uh, I, I've talked about different bands in the past, uh, Sparks, King Crimson, Klaatu, and every time I do, I get a at least one message, sometimes a few messages from different people saying, I've become a fan of Sparks or King Crimson because you talked about them and I checked them out. And so I'm hoping at least one person out there, maybe even one person out there who thinks that they hate Yoko Ono's music but hasn't really listened to it, will change their mind. Because I certainly have in the last few months. So I have remastered uh, Yoko Ono the Fly, remastered Feeling the Space, and it's a hard one to say, Approximately Infinite Universe. And of course John Lennon does play on this, it's a double album. And it's with Elephant's Memory, who were also, of course, on some time in New York City. And I used to think that Elephant's Memory was kind of just an okay band. Uh, but this album, the band Elephant's Memory, really has impressed me on this. And this is actually a better produced album also than uh, some time in New York City. So here's a positive and then followed by a negative review on the cell. This is by Chad Kelsey. In a time where society has turned the concept of thinking for yourself into hamburger, some people stand out as survivors of the brainwash. This wonderful lady is one of them. Here is a double LP full of some of the best music ever made, period. Yoko is all over the map on this one, though the high-pitched squealing is kept to a min minimum. I like the squealing, though. We get rock, blues with guitar by husband John, pop, and even some sort of smooth jazz. Yeah, this record is not for everyone, but those who live their lives outside of the proverbial prover lines may find something of deep value contained within these grooves. And insight may be just gained. All of Miss Ono's albums are special in their own way. This one just happens to be my favorite, and it's my favorite too. And then, of course, a negative review. I bought this double-length album a few weeks ago, and so far I have only been able to get through three tracks before I had to vomit. I'm serious. I had heard from a lot of people that Yoko Ono was bad, but I had never in my wildest dreams imagined that she could be this bad. Do not touch this album. Stay as far away as possible. And just a little bit about uh, my past thoughts on Yoko before I bought these reissues. Uh, I did like, I loved Season of Glass. I've always loved that album. Uh, I loved some of her really wacky, crazy songs like Why, in which she is screaming throughout the song. But... Uh, John Lennon's guitar work is just incredible. Ringo, 
Ringo Starr's drums, Claus Vorman on bass. And, you know, the first time I was like, oh my God, this is terrible. She's screaming. But I absolutely love the song now. And it's just, uh, she's not singing, of course, but it's, I don't know. I'm just a fan of some of her songs when she screams, when there's music behind them. These are, uh, this was really hard for me to choose because there's a song from Fly that I wanted to include, but I just want to focus on one album. And the song on Fly I wanted to uh, include was uh, Mrs. Lennon. But here we go. These are the five songs I hope you check out and I hope you listen to, give it a chance, listen to it more than once. Even if you absolutely hate one of the songs, in a few days, play it again. Number one, what a bastard the world is. Uh, there's so many moods throughout this song and some of the lyrics, especially later on in the song, are actually kind of shocking. Uh, this, you, you just have to listen to it. And I thought the song was maybe directed at John Lennon, but I've read elsewhere that it was directed at some woman that she knew, that she knew her husband, but I don't know. Number two, Approximately Infinite Universe. This song is from the early 70s and sounds so far ahead of its time. It would sound current today. Number three, Move On Fast. This is uh, almost a a punky song, and I, I don't know, it's like hard rock slash punk, and I just love it. I, I hope you give it a chance. Number four, Catman, The Rosies Are Coming. Really, uh, the one thing that, that bugged me at first about the song is when she sings Catman, it sounds like she's saying something like Jackman or something, but, you know, she's Japanese. English isn't her first language, and so, whatever. And there's this, and this is, uh, the music kind of reminds me of Talking Heads in a way. Uh, remain in light kind of music. And there's this one part near the end, a couple of times, and she goes into this really kind of bizarre, but funny Bit that I absolutely love and she goes coochie coochie coo coochie coochie coo betty betty boo betty betty boo it's just I just love it it just you know she has a sense of humor too and if you only want to check out one song by her this is uh, I get hair standing up on my arms just thinking about it it is called Looking Over from My Hotel Window, the last song on the album. And I don't want to give away what, what the song is about. You just have to listen to the whole song, and you might be surprised. Uh, the songwriting is superb. If this was, if she wasn't connected to John Lennon, and she came out with this today, she'd be one of those, you know, big cult stars, I think. Or, or more. So that's it. Five songs. I don't expect anyone to become a fan right away, but I hope some of you out there will give her a chance and listen to the songs more than once. And once you've listened to those five songs and you do enjoy some of them or all of them, listen to this whole album, if I can find it. I just dropped it. Approximately Infinite Universe. It's on Spotify. I'll shut up now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.